Here's another view. Boy, Jason Keller just escapes. You see here, oh, hits the wall Eric. and the 61 hits him just at the same time. You see the 24 car also getting involved. Yeah, Eric McClure also and uh, did not see that at the very instant that it happened, but you can see the damage that he had on his car. It's, there's Menard. There's Menard, but it's, I think the car that got oh. in trouble is Burton right here. I think he goes up and almost, yeah, see, he gets into the 78. They make contact. You see parts flying off of uh, the back of Burton's car there. Oh, the and 31 Menard. and Menard's victim just tried to get and get by and didn't quite make it. Wow, that was a great job by Kyle Busch for sure. You also see Joey Logano try to snake through. He was the back of this pack. There's a contact. Michael Waltrip and Bobby Labonte. David Reagan gets the other side of Labonte. Yeah, Reed Sorensen in the 43 just snuck by there also. Then down here at turn one. Oh, the 22 oh. gets the yeah the two gets uh, Keselowski the two, I'm gets sorry. into Menard. The two gets into him. Turns Menard around, comes McDowell. You can see. Menard two separate like, incidents. Yeah, it's like something was on the racetrack almost down there as they entered the corner. It's well, we've seen all day trying to utilize that bottom groove where we talked about there's just no banking there. Cars get loose, especially on tires that have had a, quite a few heat cycles here. Down goes the three on the restart. The 24 of Chase Elliott also around. Hard contact by Austin Dillon. Paul Menard entering the corner of the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse underneath him. Basically, Paul Menard just yeah. comes down. It's kind of a, a late Ricky replay. You'd have to see it earlier on the straightaway. But it looked Tap. Did he get tapped by the five? It, it was close. It, it, it's hard to say from that angle. It almost looks like he gets the nine. Look at the nine car go back up the racetrack. Oh. Yeah, David Gilliland, Dave Blaney, Martin Truex Jr. Incredible heads up moment and move by Kyle Larson. I mean, he was in the high lane and then moved down, shot down right in front of Dale Jr. to clear this. He might, wow. he might have seen that coming. Uh, it seems like he did. He might. Oh, yeah. already. When I, this when I looked up, this one I saw they were hooked together. I, I'm not sure how they got that way, but they were definitely running, they were definitely run into each other. <laughs> And then outside, the question, you're, you're, you're in the throttle, carrying a lot of speed. And uh, we talked about that second groove. We just haven't seen it come in yet. He's been for anybody, especially coming off a of pit road. Those cars seemed like they were side by side there. Maybe uh, just made some dirty air and got him loose. Well, you hear everybody's talking about how tight their cars are getting. So right side of your screen, these guys running toward the back of the pack. And you heard him say about a cut tire and heavy damage on both those cars. Hopefully, I mean, it looks so similar to what uh, we saw with it, Ryan Newman in the I'm 31. Almost, I'm almost certain it's a, it's another a right front bead. Now, those are teammates. Look at what happened. Ooh, something obviously happened going down in turn number one. It has a look of a flat right front. Uh, I'm sorry, that's the tunnel turn. Had, had a look maybe of a tire going down. Tire going down or something just You can see it right just here. all but going Bam. straight there. It appears. Just kind of all down here on the, this, you know, tight group on the restart. Once it's again, uh, Ashton Lewis. Lewis gets into somebody. He hits a Johnny Sauter there and sends him around. And here comes the 35, and here comes the 11, and it looks like a pinball machine. But how many close calls has Clint Boyer had today yes. in the two car? Just the fourth time in this race. Oh, oh bad, tire. Mm, bad place to blow a tire. Yes. We were just showing him Kyle Busch's in car, where you're wide open, already in high gear there, up over 150 miles an hour at that point. That's a shame because he was having a good run. Trying to hold on to it there. Oops. You know what? I don't reckon he knocked that left front down when he made that little bit of contact with Biffle because that car turned too hard right and uh, the 20 didn't touch him. No, not I even believe, close. I believe he had the left front down. Car, you saw it bobble just a little bit getting in the turn. Goes up. What goes up must come down. Look at Kurt Busch, oh. the 22 just got by. And David Starr. Car just got loose getting in, and BP, there he goes. He hits up in that gray. He gets in the wall. Let's see what happened on the second deal, though. Hmm. That's a hard hit, yeah. Wow. You know, his car in the, in the left front area looks almost like Kerry Earnhardt's. Oh, oh, the tire, tire. Comes apart. Yeah. Tire but that was due apart. to the contact with the 88. 
I mean, they, they rubbed each other getting off the corner, and that and that's what cut the tire. But he must have run over something. Yeah. When you when you look at um, the car back here, there's another car. If we can come back and maybe we can tell us straight. Look at those bright green cars way in the back. Way back here. Oh. Who was that? Vickers that, got loose in I front think of it was Stremme. David Streamy oh, on 12. Boy, I did, that is. I'm glad they got that safer barrier down the back back there now. That would have. Boy, look how close. I was watching that 22 car. He was struggling. He would had. A, he was really falling back, or at least he was having a hard time keeping up. And he probably got up out of the gas a little bit. And Menard.